Taurus, good morning. Welcome to your general reading. <coughs> Excuse me. My name's Clive. You're watching Embrace Tarot. So just before we get into this, I would just like to point out that please take the bits that resonate naturally and leave the rest. Don't try and make this fit, otherwise it will lead you to wrong conclusions, okay? So, messages for the sign of Taurus. What's going on for the sign of Taurus, please? Straight off the bat, a lot of patience here. I'm kind of getting that you are trying to work out which path you want to take with a certain person. Okay, you're in full control of your emotions. Okay, uh, you could be dealing with somebody that is married. That, and this could be you actually. This could be your partner. But what I'm saying is there's a, a satisfactory situation here, but it's not fulfilling. You have a strong desire, Taurus, to follow your heart. There's a specific wish that you want to fulfill. At the moment, you feel obligated to a certain situation, though. So it's a, you're hanging off on a decision here. I'm kind of getting that you're drifting along. Uh, to see how things pan out at the moment okay but one thing's for sure you are in control okay in the challenge position there's family matters and a particular connection here now there is a golden opportunity for you <clears throat> and this golden opportunity could be a career move as well but we're kind of getting that there's one particular connection here that's very, very strong. You could be dealing with a soulmate. But I can uh, what I'm getting is private conversations and you try to call a truce between you and somebody. And this could be between <clears throat> you and a family member, a father or a mother, sister, brother. But what I'm getting here is for one or two of you, there is a marriage involved here. <clears throat> and there is a third party involvement. Okay. I'm, I'm getting that there is a lot of opinions in the mix here. But with you, there is uh, an internal drive. It's like a spiritual and emotional itch that you feel you've got to scratch. And there is a particular environment here that you are very comfortable in. <coughs> For a lot of you, work is okay. There is some complacency here, but what I'm getting is your desire is to be somewhere else. You're very, very independent at the moment. There is some codependency around you. Okay. But you are focused on something very, very personal. I am getting <coughs> excuse me, a conversation taking place, communication coming in. But there's there is a particular ambition that you want to fulfill. There is a great opportunity here. Okay. But the past will have a direct being honest with yourself and being honest about your past, especially in relationships, will give you some clue on helping you making this decision. Okay, so for example, if you're getting a repetitive situation and you're getting a deja vu over and over and over again, then to change that and break that cycle, then it's, it's a question of making a different decision. Okay, well, I'm getting your things. Of, I'm getting some impatience here. There is a lot of very, very slow moving energy around you. Very stable, but very slow. You want to do something very, very different. I am getting news coming in. Okay. There's been a lot happening in the past. And some of it you would sooner forget. You can't forgive it, but you can forget it. Hmm. It's like you've been stuck in a routine here with a particular situation. To follow your heart's desire 
whether this is a career move or with somebody in a distance relationship or whatever, uh, this this means a change in the way you live your life. And a lot of lifestyle changes. And it is very, very challenging. Okay, there's a lot of complacency here. And I'm getting if you are the one in the marriage, okay, but your desire is, wants to be with somebody else or elsewhere or because of children, okay, it's it's kind of working through it very, very slowly, but mm, you're you know you, you don't desire to be where you are at the moment your head and your heart are somewhere else even if you stay in the situation you're in you're realizing that things have got to change mm. this decision i'm kind of getting it is one of permanence all right. you, you're beginning to see yourself in a different light, Taurus. You, you're beginning to realise who you truly are, what you want to achieve in life, especially in work and in relationships here. I'm, I'm picking up a change of direction. But at the moment, I'm getting a lot of you... Yeah, some of these changes are happening a bit too quick. You're trying to slow them down. It's like you're resisting these changes. You'll come around, but in your time. Mm. There was a particular relationship here that went quiet. It, it just fizzled out emotionally and spiritually. There was silence. And for some of you, I'm kind of getting there is someone that you haven't spoken to in a while, but then they decide they want to come back into your life quite unexpectedly. Um, this decision for you is focusing on whether you want to stay where you are or move on to pastures new. Mm. Also in the career, there is a very big turnaround here. This, I'm getting this, there will be some unexpected developments in your situation. Mm. Being open to change. That's the key. Being open to change. Because change is coming. And a lot of this change is outside of your control. Um, what I mean by that is somebody else might make a decision and make you an offer. Uh, there's a person that you've been at loggerheads with. You've been apart from. They're married. They've been dealing with circumstances. And a lot of this is outside of your control and then they're coming towards you. But what is in your control is this decision on whether to <clears throat> follow this through. Yes, you have a big desire, but it's a question of, you know, it's giving up your present lifestyle. Mm. There is a, a logical, you're being very logical at the moment. Okay, and a decision, yeah, it's it's based on past experience. But there is somebody here trying to hide their feelings. They do have feelings for you, but they're, they're not showing it. They're trying to work things out. Getting a lot of air energy here, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay, so, you know, if this, if, if this is an energy that you're dealing with on getting they will come in soon but it's it's a very restrictive relationship here and for some of you this is distance so it involves legalities yeah it's a question on giving up your present situation you're a person that can fit in anywhere Okay, and there's yeah, I'm getting a lot of pentacle energy here, which is which is you know your energy very slow moving, perhaps even to the degree of a bit of a stubbornness here. But you do have options, okay? The, the, the choice is in your lap. 
The desire to move is not the problem. It's bringing your dreams into reality with money, etc., circumstances, and for some of you where there's children to be considered. It's a complex situation here, okay? But it's one that you are working through slowly. You're not going to be pushed. You are dealing with the present and the past. Okay, but I'm getting somebody you parted from in the past wants to come back in. Okay, but there's a because things have changed so drastically in the world within you, within the people around you, and especially this past person. There's a there's a different feel to this. I am kind of getting that you've been carrying a torch secretly for this person. You have considered being with them you have thought about them they've thought about you it's like that invisible piece of spiritual elastic that you just couldn't let go of you could be dealing with a soulmate but there's a lot of reminiscing here somebody does still carry a torch for you but they're not showing it but the realization of things can't carry on as they are Okay, there's forgiveness here, there's healing. At the moment, you seem you can't seem to forgive this person. Going forward, I'm kind of getting that uh, forgiving yourself, okay? And forgiveness in general is the path forward because there is a new path opening up to you. You know, whatever the scenario, whether it's in work, family, personal life, you know, it's we're all responsible for our own decisions and sometimes we have to forgive ourselves that we made wrong decisions. <clears throat> there's there's a lot of the blame game going on here as well. Okay, but what we can't do is blame others for our decisions. If we choose to stay in a situation that's not to our liking and we don't do anything about it and we just keep biding our time, we can hardly blame the other person for that decision. And vice versa, they can't blame you for decisions they make. You know, this is, to me, how karma works. You make a decision, the consequences come, and we all have to be adult to take them. But you are being very adult. You, this is a big learning, steep learning curve for you. But this desire, this new path that you want to follow, it is going to take some pure strength, willpower, determination, and courage to follow it through. But that does involve forgiveness. I'm picking one scenario here where there's been a big bust up in a family, there's children involved, you've parted from your partner, now the partner wants to come back. But the decision is yours. Thanks very much for watching.